Now in this design there are two inner verticals, as I call them, uh, which are the same length and attached to the, the inner face of the uh, two front corner posts. Now, arranged between these inner verticals are four rails. Um, there's uh, of different widths. The, this is the top rail, which allows for four dowels. These are the two intermediate rails, which are uh, adjacent to the drawers and these have uh, two dowels each and this is the, the bottom rail which is uh, two and eighth wide and it has uh, room for three. Now the back um, for structural purposes and also because of the, the drawers arrangement is uh, identical um, so that, that's, uh, uh, that's a good feature. Um, now referencing here is very important you don't want any, any misalignment it has to be identical so let's get started. Now there are several ways to do this. Um, this is this is my favourite. I've called there's this is the, the the other rail that's got the three two two. The, these are the two intermediate rails for the for the drawers. The drawer will one drawer will be here, one drawer will be there. Now I've calculated that the distance to the top of the the, the, the second intermediate rail is 18 and, 18 and 5 eighths from the bottom, exactly. Now, what you must do here, these are identical in length, so we get them clamped so that they're absolutely square at the top and flush at the top and bottom. Then we take a line. Now, you, when you draw this line, it must be on the surface to be drilled. So where you put your X, this is the one you, you line up and you put your... your um, mark. So we draw a line right across there and that represents the top of the of the, uh, the, uh, the upper intermediate rail. Now the other thing to notice here is that um, normally when we're, when we're uh, doing joints such as this you really have to start at the top and work your way the whole way or start at the bottom and work your way all the way. But since these are identical in length it, it doesn't matter we can work from here down and we can also work from the top down and that's exactly what we're going to do here. So this one's already done. There's a check mark. So the check mark the X is here, check mark is here, and at the top edge here. Now it's uh, 7 eighths thick, so we uh, 7 eighths, half to 7 sixteen, less 3 eighths is, is, a, is a sixteenth, and we've got six, a sixteen spacer in here. Now the check mark goes to the check mark here, and we bring this up to the end. That's really good. Now we're going to be doing four here. Always stop it before you go into the the guide because if you don't you can damage the, the cutting edge of the drill. So in this case we're doing one, two, four and five. Now that's the top one done. Now we come down to our, our line. Now we just, it's very fine line, so we just we just want it showing in no more. So it'll be exactly the same as the other one. That's perfect. Now in this case we're going to do two, one and two, working our way down that. <coughs> Can you imagine how long this would take you doing mortise and tenon? Now, we use for the next one 
I've already set this because I used it for that. You can use it for the, the back framework as well. Uh, always set and set it in the last, last bore. Make sure it's absolutely level and centered. Bring it up. Make sure it's nice, firmly against. And then we do another two. This time we do three, one, two, and three. Now that's all taken just a few minutes to do all these. That's that's the one in a vertical complete. Now we're ready to dry fit the arrangement. Um, obviously this is the top, this is the two intermediate rails, this is the bottom rail. This is the space for the two uh, drawers and this is the space for the, the two doors. Now as I've said many times when you're dry fitting these, these dolls are snug is for strength so when you're dry fitting always just put about 50% or less whatever you need to ensure alignment that's all you need and, uh, so let's put this last piece together Absolutely, couldn't have wished for better. Let's see how that is. Absolutely spot on. Fabulous. Okay, that's the front framework finished.